We're back in the cellar again. I'm Jerry Greenfield, the Wine Whisperer, and I want to talk about something that really absolutely mystifies me, and maybe it mystifies you too, because wine, wine geeks talk about it all the time, and that's the complete disconnect between how much a wine costs and how good it is. Um, question, does wine have to be expensive? I mean, we see people uh, buying $2,000 bottles, $750 bottles, and then there's this $11, $12 bottle. What's, what's the story on this? Fact is that the major wine publications, Wine Spectator, Decanter, Wine Enthusiast, all these, all these uh, magazines, they all have critics on staff who taste wines and they rate them on a scale from uh, to 100 points. Problem is, and you can look at any of these magazines any month and you'll see the ratings in the back, and you'll have a bottle of wine that costs $375 and give it 92 points. And right next to it, there's another wine that got 92 points and it's 15 bucks. What's up with that? We can never figure this out. The, the story is that you have a wine like this one for $750 a bottle, incredible stuff, legendary wine, cult wine, maybe it gets 92, 93, 94 points, maybe even gets 97 points. And then you have a bottle of really, really nice um, Columbia Valley, Washington State uh, Cabernet, and it gets 91, 92 points, 12 bucks. So look for the values. Yes, there's sometimes it's really nice to drink a big bottle of expensive wine, special occasion, but there are plenty of great values that are 91, 92, 93 point wines uh, from lesser known areas that are wonderful to drink and they'll give you great values. So don't be afraid to experiment, to try a bottle of wine from someplace you've never heard of. Chances are it's going to be pretty highly rated and you'll enjoy it very much. I'm Jerry Greenfield, the Wine Whisperer, and here's to you. <music>